Belafonte had a successful career as an artist since the 1950s. He won a Tony Award in 1954 for his role in John Murray Anderson's Almanac, and five years later, he became the first black performer to win an Emmy for the TV special Tonight with Harry Belafonte. In 1954, he co-starred with Dorothy Dandridge in the Otto Preminger-directed musical Carmen Jones, which was a breakthrough for an all-black cast. The 1957 movie Island in the Sun in which Belafonte starred opposite Joan Fontaine, was banned in several southern cities due to its portrayal of an interracial romance. Belafonte's album Calypso, released in 1955, became the first officially certified million-selling album by a solo performer and sparked a national infatuation with Caribbean rhythms. Belafonte was reluctantly nicknamed the King of Calypso, he had admirers such as a young Bob Dylan, who made his record debut in the early 60s by playing harmonica on Belafonte's Midnight Special. In his memoir My Song, published in 2011, Belafonte wrote about how he befriended Martin Luther King Jr. In the spring of 1956 after the young civil rights leader reached out to him for a meeting. They had extensive conversations, and Belafonte recalled feeling that King elevated him to a higher plane of social protest. Despite being at the peak of his singing career, Belafonte soon organized a benefit concert for the bus boycott in Montgomery, Alabama, which helped raise King's national profile. <laughs>